Hi. Hi, I'm Gerbert. Hey, uh, you know what? It's time to watch the show. But right after the show, you know what we're going to do? We're going to talk about what we learned. Yeah, because we always learn stuff. You know why? Because God is always teaching us. So all we got to do is watch real close and listen, and we'll hear God talk to us. See you after the show. I just got Wow, Mitch Deegan, you're an artist. Well, huh. thank you, Gerber. You're I like welcome. this picture, too. Me, too. Oh, oh, Gerber. Oh, 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 you've ruined oh, it. Oh, Mitch Deegan, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make the cup spill. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mitch Deegan, are you mad? I'm not mad at you, Gerbert, because I know you didn't mean to make the water spill. But I am mad because my picture's ruined, and I worked hard on it. But I'm not mad at you, Gerbert. I forgive you, okay? I'm sorry. It's all right. This here to fold the paper over the string and then paste. Right. Huh. Well, hi. How are you doing? You know what? Mitch Deegan and I, we're making a kite. Well, well I'm sorry, I forgot Roy's making a kite too. Please uh. forgive me, Roar. <laughs> You know what? I can't believe, Miss Deegan. I what? can't believe that even though I ruined your painting today, you're still helping me. Well, I told you, Gerbert, I forgave you. Mm. And when you choose to forgive someone, you also choose to forget. Does God do that, too? He was the first one who ever did it. The Bible says that God sweeps away our sins like a cloud, and he remembers them no more. Huh. Have you ever seen a cloud moving across the sky? Yeah, like when it's going home? Yeah, like when it's going home. Huh. Well, that's what God does with our mistakes. Huh. Forgive and forget. Well said, Gerber. Yeah. Well, now the kite's finished. Hey, thanks for helping me make my kite, Miss Deegan. Oh, sure. I love making things with you. Looks great. Looks good. Those things over there. Hi. Hi. How are you doing today? Y'all looking for a kite to fly outside today? Yep. Yeah. Warm. Okay. Just, it's not a real windy day today, so you probably want something that's going to be pretty easy to fly. This is 
our easiest kite right here. This is called a delta. Okay. With this one, what you do is you unroll it, open it up, and push your struts down to the bottom of it, like that. Okay. Once you do that, you just take this other strut and put it across the back. This kite will fly in about four mile an hour winds, which is not very much wind. When you have a heavier wind, what you need to do, which is a real windy day, is attach this tail to the bottom of it so the bag can be used as a tail on this kite. This kite will fly in the lightest wind of any kite. It's all made out of ripstop nylon, which you can see there, all that grid work in there. You see the boxes in the kite? Those little boxes, if you were to get a hole in there, it won't go any bigger than one of those squares. So this kite will stay, it'll last forever. And you can pin it up on your wall when you're not flying it. It won't hurt it at all. Okay. Got another kite here that might be pretty easy to fly too. This is called an octopus kite. It's a form of a dragon kite. Look at him. He has five tails and he has eyes. And with this one, you just hook your line right onto the front of it too. Hey, what you think of that, Isaac? And you just let go. You just let go. But Stay. how do you get it back? You pull the line back down with it. You just let it go and it goes right on up. You want to touch it? It takes a little bit more wind than the delta shaped kite that I just showed you, but not so much as a box kite would. That's a real nice kite you have there, too. It's called a parafoil. Yeah, and this one comes in a can. Look at that. It's just like a peanut can. Okay, and the way this one works, take it out of the can here. And it fills up with air. See, it has nothing, no struts in it, nothing in it to break. One for me. It's one for you. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what this one does is it fills up like an air mattress would. You just let the wind catch it, and that's what gives it support. Well, I'm all finished with my kite, Roar. Sure feels good to have it finished, that's for sure. Huh. Well, oh, hi, there you are. Hey, do you ever wonder what it would be like if you could be a kite? I do. You sure do have a good imagination. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to set my kite by my window for the whole world to see. How about that, Roar? <laughs> I finished my kite. So come on, kite, let's fly above the wind from the window. Boy, you're a good kite, huh, Mar? You feeling you're pulling the wind? Oh, great. You threw it behind the fence again. Don't take another one. Now, come on, we've got all these to deliver. Oh, 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 I can't believe this. My kite is broken. Oh, oh, I can't believe this. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, all oh, my work. Oh. 
Okay, everybody, this is a song about firemen. They help us a lot. And when they're putting out a fire, they wear lots of special clothes and a mask to protect them from the smoke. Firemen are our friends. scary feeling. Yeah, that's why I'm staying under here. Well, Gerbert, there's nothing wrong with feeling angry. Even real angry. Huh? Really? Yes. One of the best things you can do with your anger is to talk about it, and that way nobody gets hurt. So, so I don't have to be afraid of my angry feelings? No. God made us able to feel all kinds of feelings, and he's felt them too. Huh. He said, be angry, but do not sin. Think about your anger upon your bed. I, I should forgive Stu for breaking my kite. Yes, 
Gerber, wouldn't it be great if Stu really didn't mean to break your kite? If he did it on purpose, would I still have to forgive him? Yes. You see, when you choose to forgive, then it helps your anger go away. That's just the way God made us. Isn't that great? What are you making? Well, a kite. A mess? No, I said I'm making another kite. Whoa, this is a kite? And <laughs> this thing wouldn't fly even if it was tied to an airplane. Well, it would have flown before it got broken. And <laughs> what'd you do? Use it as a trampoline? <laughs> I didn't break it, Stu. What are you yelling at me for? Well, I'm sorry. I guess I'm still a little angry about it. But I forgive you, even if you did it on purpose. Did what on purpose? I sure didn't break your kite. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I was standing right by my window, and you threw the newspaper right through it. I didn't break your kite, Gerbert. Did you see me do it? No, but... I always get blamed for the bad stuff. I can do good stuff, too, you know. What? You, you mean you really didn't break my kite, Stu? No. Nobody cares when I do anything good. It's only when I do stuff that's bad. Oh, Stu, I'm, I'm sorry I blamed you, Stu. I know I don't act like it, Gerbert. But I really like being your friend. And I wouldn't want to break your kite. Well, still, I like being your friend. I'm sorry. I always think you did it when bad stuff happens. I'd hate for people to think that about me. Hey, look, Herbert. I can help you make the kite. I mean, I'm pretty good at making things. Now, let's see. I think that should go around there. Let's you don't have to. This. No, no, that's all right. Let's see. Um, hold this flap over this way. And... Gotta have a tail. Thanks. I, I, I've learned a lot today. I've learned that it's okay to feel angry sometimes. God knows what it's like to feel angry. He's felt angry too. And I've learned that um, it's best to just forgive and forget when you feel hurt by someone. And I've learned that Stu does like me after all. As the sun hides from our sight, the moon and stars display your light, and angels watch me through the night. 
night. Dear Lord, I'll rest in you. In peace I will lie down and sleep. Wrapped in your care, my soul you'll keep. Only in you is rest so sweet. To you all praise is due. And I will lie down with you, cuddle right close to you, close tight my eyes and be still with you. How precious are your thoughts toward me More than the grains of sin and sea When I awake, I'm still with thee Throughout the day and night God of comfort, God of grace How lovely is your dwelling place shine brightly on this sleeping face and keep me in your sight and I will lie down with you cuddle right close to you I'll close tight my eyes and be Still with you. And I will lie down with you. To you, I'll close tight my eyes and be still with you. I'll close tight my eyes and be still with you. Good night, God. There you are. Hey, I'm glad you kept watching. Sorry I didn't notice you at first. It's just, I was thinking about Stu. You know, I really learned something neat about Stu today. You know, when the kite got broken, 
I just thought Stu must have done it. But Stu didn't do it. That must feel awful to always be blamed when things go wrong. I wonder if you ever feel like that. Well, you know what? I learned a lot about forgiveness. Stu forgave me for thinking about him like that. And I forgave Stu. Yeah, well, you know what? Here's a verse from the Bible that I'd like you to learn. It says, forgive and you will be forgiven. Yeah, that's what God does. Well, that's what I learned. See you later, alligator.